one deck. Now you over there, I'm gonna need questions to sit there and just see folk here. Yeah. David Lee, the pretty joiner, DJ. I kept quiet through every accusation because the Lord told me to. I resigned, though temporarily, because of legal counsel. Because of the things I was going to say was not fitting to be said by a leader. So I stepped down so that when I spoke, you couldn't judge it to a leader but to a man. After counsel with the legal system and with the leaders of Solid Rock, the governing him. They decided that I should not yes. relinquish yes. what God used me to be. I've been accused of child molestation. But my accusers let their children stay with me. Why be grown and touch kids when there's adult stuff you can touch? No child has come forth and said I did it because it's a lie. been accused of when we have convocations and meetings of this magnitude that I'm sex trafficking. Who am I bringing to preach? I supply sexual partners for them. I never would do that because I never had one. And with that kind of traffic, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to drive in it. I've been accused of taking church money to gamble and do other things that they say saints shouldn't do. I've given more than I'll ever receive. The reason I'm addressing this is because today I was resting, getting ready for the first session, and a sheriff called me, asked me, was I me? And I said, this is me. He said, well, there's an accusation that you're spreading HIV. And I said, then, God, that's enough. So I want to make it clear to everybody on Facebook and here. However you see me, that's your eyes. But I'm still God's anointed. And my problem is, folk will get healed by you, get their bills paid, and then act like you're nothing. I just want to say this, when this started, I commanded Solid Rock to stay quiet. Amen. A few didn't because they were angry. 
But I gave the general command Amen. to not feed into this. Amen. And I've held that to this point. But be it known tonight, yeah. if there's one more accusation or one more post concerning this one right here, yeah. I'm turning everybody loose with all of their evidence, with all of their letters, with all of their pictures, I tried to do New Testament grace and mercy, but you sent me to Old Testament war. I want to thank God for all of my supporters. Amen. That have stood by me through this. I love you the more. I pray for innocent people that were bewitched by this trick of the devil, but we're going to make it. Because I'm crying. thing I want to say and then I'm going to go to my seat. If you will not allow folk to talk about your leader or your parent, I no longer will do the same. The Facebook post is getting ready to end. You have a choice to respond if you want. I want to say this, there will be no more live Facebooks during this holy convocation unless I deem it necessary. So all cameras after my statement will be cut off. Somebody say why? Because anybody want to know what we're doing, come see if you bad or not. So I'm live. Okay. Mm. All right. All right. So I'll wait for y'all to come on in. That's it, girl. That's the new light. Come yeah. on in. Come on in. Come on in. I'll give you a minute. Because I got something to say. And that's how they say it. Yeah. Got something to say. Mm -hmm. So I got plenty I want to say. And once I say it, I'm going to get off. Okay? And everybody that knows me know I'm not a go-live person. But this has to be addressed today. Has to be addressed today. Okay? So I, let's get the numbers on up a little bit, and then I'll say what I got to say. Okay. Yeah, because it's too much. Too much. Too much. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and say what I got to say, and those that need to catch up can catch up. First and foremost, my sole purpose of being on this live and doing this live is to address whoever Amber Jones is. Okay, Amber? Now, I looked at your friend list, so I have my speculations, but it don't even matter. So, since you put it out there, we gonna tell the truth about it all. It's only one person I'm addressing, and that's my mother. That's it. Let me first start off by saying, when these people met my mother, and TDC, we had everything. We still have everything. The church was paid for. Everything in the church contributed anything to TDC or my mother, Apostle Francis Nix. Let's make that plain, okay? First and foremost. Second of all, when we met them, banking new Lincoln Navigator. 
Period. Okay? Because the lies about all this checks and all that, I'm not going to let y'all do that. A brand spanking new Lincoln Navigator was given to your Reverend Amber that don't go to church, but you know all the church news. So, so now, wh where, where's the confidentiality between the church and, and, they, and the preacher and, and their members? Which was lies, but I'm going to let you be great. And I'm going to let all your people be great. But I'm gonna let me go back to my story because see you I'm here. I'm here because I don't let anybody talk about my mother Because she ain't nothing but been good to all of y'all So Lincoln brand new Lincoln Navigator paid for Every payment when she gave it to him. It wasn't even paid for she made every payment She paid every car payment every car insurance so that that ain't even where it stopped start so then when your reverend was sick amber i went because your reverend didn't have no bed so i went and spent over five thousand dollars of my mama supposedly bounce check money mm -hmm. and bought him a brand spanking new bedroom set ask him where it said mm -hmm. third of all your reverend called my mother and said the lord said you have X amount of dollars that I need. I'm about to go to jail. See, because now y'all crossed the line. And so since you crossed the line, I got to tell it all. You called my mother and said, Apostle Nix, I'm about to go to jail for my mama, my daddy, and my sister funeral that I never paid for. The lady that had the funeral home died. Now her children is coming for me and I need the money. Mm. Now, if, if my mama make bounce checks, that $54,000 check that my mama wrote you, Negro, uh -huh. I bet you you cash that. Mm. And the $11,000 that you got, don't play with me. I don't play games. I don't do this kind of stuff, but I got receipts. I already called the bank. I said, I need these checks ASAP. Period. I will post them. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I don't care what you say about me. You can talk about me. You can tell all whatever you need to tell. What I did to me, I did to myself. I didn't do to nobody else. And you're not going to come for Frances Nix when she didn't do nothing to me. She done pay for cars. She done pay. You call. Can you deposit? Oh, I got all the accounts number to Bank of America. Hmm. How about that? How about that? And, and since we own it. Because I already contacted the GBI and the GBI because I'm G like that. You not going to hide. I don't hide behind no fake name. Get off the fake stuff, Amber. Whoever you are, put yourself out there. Because if you that bad, put yourself out there and let me see who you are. I don't play games. And, yep, I'm going to church on Sunday, and I'm going to sing my behind off, and I'm going to shout, speak in tongues, and praise God. And praise God. Now, don't play with me. Now, I had it, and I said I wasn't going to do all this. I, I said I wasn't going to do this. I, I, I really did. I, I said I wasn't going to do it. But, but y'all making me go there. And then people, y'all sitting up here having beef with other people. For what? Y'all don't even know the whole story. Y'all don't even know what's going on. Yeah, my mama did fall on hard times. Let me tell you, first and foremost, okay, because let me tell you the whole story since we're going to talk about it. So when you called and you told her that, and you said, the Lord said you had it. And my mama said, you show the Lord said? Yeah, the Lord said. My mama said, okay, Apostle, mm. if the Lord said, then I'm going to get it. Reverend, Reverend sorry. So when my mother went, her house, excuse the hairdo, the house, my mother's house was paid for. My mother went and put a mortgage out on her house to get you that money because you were her leader. And she didn't want you to go to jail like you said you were supposed to be going to jail, which we found out later, just found out after she left, that that was all a lie. 
And when you got the text, man, oh, it's a misunderstanding. I'll pay it back. You was a misunderstanding lie because I have the text message where you said, take it out the tie. You thought, you thought, you told her to take it from the ties. And she said, I cannot do that. Ties is sacred money. I can't take what you owe me and take it out and take the ties from that. That is God's money. I cannot do that. So you still was getting your tithes, you still was getting your offerings, and you did not pay her her money back. Y'all, come on. So Amber, whoever told you the lies, they all lies. They lies. And you came to our church, and she still made sure you had an offering. Then you went telling people she was only giving you $500 every time she came to your church, to our church. That's a lie. You came for one night and went left with a thousand plus. Dude, come on. I got the text message from your daughter. Well, we thought you was taking it out of the preacher's offering because y'all went from giving him 5000 to 500 You a lie. You a lie. And I sent you, and I, I put the text message up. I was like, girl, bye. You brainwashed. You brainwashed because he never left our church. My mother used to do a week anniversary she gave higher night to yourself this is public knowledge she gave you one night you got over three thousand dollars off of one night sir stop and y'all sitting up here making war with people and y'all don't even know the whole story exactly. stop please why I didn't even want to do this. I didn't even want to do this. But y'all not going to come for my mama. I told y'all. I told them all. I said, don't come for my mama. I don't care what you say about me. I don't care what you tell about me. But do not come for my mother. Don't do it. And so, yeah, my mother did fall on hard times. The church fell on hard times because we was dealing with we was dealing with lies and deception and we didn't even know it. We dealing with somebody who ain't even living what they say. I don't care what you say. If a person not living what they say and you you planting into that person, that money is going on stony and hard ground. You cannot get a harvest from that. And so my mother did. The church fell on hard times. Thank God the church was paid for. But then my mother almost lost her house. Because we giving you every darn thing we got. Hmm. See, you y'all don't know. Y'all don't see it. It makes me angry because y'all don't know the whole story. My mother went and pawned jewelry to keep her house. But nobody told y'all that. But he went around and he told y'all that she filed for bankruptcy. Heck yeah, she filed for bankruptcy. She didn't have no choice but to keep her house. So yes, yeah, she did. But guess what? She got a house. What he got? Living in somebody doggone projects, project uh, uh, apartment or a house that you ain't even paid for. And everything you get is in somebody else's name. Mm. But she done rose above it. And if, if I called the bank today, y'all think I'm playing. And y'all, my family know. They on here. I ain't watching the comments. My family know. I'm not playing no games. I called the bank today. I don't know how long it's going to take them. I ain't going to cry. I don't know how long it's going to take them. But I'm going to prove. And, and those of y'all that know my mama, a real woman of God, you know I ain't lying to y'all. This man owes my mother over $70,000. 70000 And I don't care for the rest of them that want to keep their mouth shut. Because I'm going to tell you, it's a lot more victims out here that done been victimized. And he got their money too. But you letting your pride. I don't care. You can watch my live. You can say whatever you want to say. But I promise you, it's a lot more people that got their money too on the Lord's say. And you somewhere gambling people money off. And you didn't even care that people losing stuff, breaking up families. You didn't even care. So, yeah, we fell on hard times. We did. We did. But that never stopped you from calling or sending your daughter to call. Apostle Niggs, do you have $500? I, I, I can't pay my rent. I'm doing this by myself. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Don't play with me. I'm saved, but don't play with me. I got the Holy Ghost, but don't play with me. Now, you tell whatever you think you need to tell, but one lie you ain't going to tell is about no bounce checks. Now, 
that link that uh that 2015 2017 uh what is that Range Rover that's sitting in her yard ain't nobody never roll, roll up in my mama yard and pull nothing. nothing. That 2018 that's sitting in her yard, she done gave y'all plenty of money, plenty of hats that you promised to pay her and you never did. How about that, yeah. sis? sis. Y'all done, done woke the beast up. Period. I'm telling you, Period. my mother suffered. My mother suffered. She, she didn't even tell us she pawned a jewelry. Before Pandora was even Pandora, we had completely filled up a bracelet for her. And she went and she had to sell it to keep get money. Because the church had fell on hard times. You done broke up our church because of these strict doctrines that don't mean even a hill of beans. Half of the church left because people was like, really? We got to do all this? We got to pin our skirts down all the way to the, we got to wear our skirts to the floor. You got to have your shirt up the hill. You can't wear no earrings. You can't wear no necklace. You can't do this. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. And people left. And when you because you had done tainted the people against my mother. Uh. How about that? How about that? You told them not to come. You told them they could not. And even if some of them did come, they couldn't say anything to her. You didn't want them to talk to her. You call my mother a bee. She's sickening. But she anointed. Yeah, we know. And then you never thought, because you never came, you never actually came. Like you took over some people's churches, you never came and took over ours because you knew you really couldn't come and take over. But what you didn't know behind the scene was, my mother been ready to leave. But she stayed because she was, two things. She was trying to get her money back from you. And number two, I wasn't about to leave my son in your filthy mess. I couldn't figure it out. God don't show us everything. But one thing about it, we was not leaving without my son. And I meant that. And we didn't leave without him. You tried to brainwash my son when he was 18 years old. Yeah, I'm finding it all out now. When he was 18 years old, you, you tried to beg him to live with you. But over here, we get an education. Over here, we get degrees. Over here, we buy houses, cars, land. We do what we got to do to make it. We don't mooch, mooch off of people. And that's how you made your living. Yeah, you, you can feed these boys. You know why? Because it wasn't your money to feed them. You could clothe them, but it wasn't your money to clothe them. So really, you didn't do nothing for them. How about that? How about that? You didn't even do nothing for them. Mama did it. I'm going to call nobody else's name, but it's a lot of other, other preachers that was in the midst. They did it. <laughs> they did it. They did it. I done been to the casino with you. Didn't see you play, so I ain't going to lie. Because I stayed up in the room. I was wondering why we was we there. I'm like, why are we here at the casino? Like, we church folk. Church folk don't go to the casino, do they? Like, why are we here? And I thought to myself, why are we here? But that's neither here nor there. I'm here for my mama. Francis A. Nix, we don't play about. We, we don't play. We don't play about her. I'm telling y'all, we don't play about her. And, and, and that... I'm telling y'all, we have risen above. We're back to a status. Let me, let me just tell y'all something. Then, every time my mother tried to get a contribution letter, every year, she need a contribution. You know, because when you a real church, when you a real church, mm -hmm. and when you a church that do things by the law and by the books, you can give your members contribution letters stating how much they had given the church in that year. That's what real churches do. And when my mother, every year she tried to get one, she couldn't get none. Hmm. So how about that? So I just sent it to the IRS. Hmm. How about that? Period. Period. Poo. Period. <laughs> because you're going to either do it right. Because let me tell you one thing. You can talk about Francis Nix, but let me tell y'all something. I ain't going to blast all our business. But quarterly, which is when you're supposed to pay the IRS... And you're supposed to pay state and federal. I send between federal and state over $6,000 every quarter, every three months. Let's make that plain. And now I want you to do the math. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So $25,000 a year, state and federal get their money. Don't play with me. I promised my mother I would never 
let her suffer like that again. And every year, we made it happen. And so now, yeah, bank account got double and triple digits. Don't play with me. Don't, don't play with me. Don't play with me. And y'all still, your reverend living in a hope, in an apartment, in the projects that he don't, that don't even have his name. Your reverend is living in a house that ain't even his name. How about that? Now, when you come for Polly, because I see some of y'all on here, mm. and so when you come for me, you better know what you're coming for. <laughs> you understand me? Because I don't take threats lightly. She big over here. I, I, I don't take threats lightly. And my mother has never done anything to anybody. I told y'all, I'm not going to let y'all do that. If I would tell, if, if y'all knew how old my mother was, you wouldn't even believe it. But I can't tell her age. I'm not going to let y'all sit here and do that to my mama. I'm not going to do it. So the Pandora bracelet that she sold trying to get money, I bought another one. The church, the church just bought another one two years ago. I promised her. So when she went to these conferences and you thought you was getting all her money, hmm, jokes on you, boo-boo. Mm -hmm. No, we gave her a certain amount of money. This is what you take in. Yeah, this, this, all, this all you take in. And when that's gone, that's gone. And yeah, y'all talked about our church. Yeah, because she did say, y'all don't have to get these taxations no more because we don't know where the money's going. That was the reason for her even joining the ministry was she was trying to help build a headquarters. She was like, I'm tired of running back and forth to Columbus, Ohio. We was with World Harvest Church, Pastor Rod Parsley. You can't get no bigger than that. that and she said, I'm tired, I'm getting older. I'm tired of running back and forth. I'm going to help them build the ministry. The reason you gave, she gave that navigator, because y'all was packed 16 deep in one car. Stop! Looking like Mexican. Man, get out of here. Okay, I'm going to pull myself in. Let me pull myself in. I'm, I'm just saying, y'all stop, please. And you, that's fine. You ain't gotta stop. But the more, but the more, the more you talk, the more tea I'm gonna pull out. Period. I got receipts. Ain't that what they call it? I got receipts. Tons of them. I done called the bank, <laughs> and that's just the big dollar amounts. That's not the other stuff where you call during the week. I'm mm -hmm. short of money. Can you put the ties in the bank? You let your little imps call and do it for you. See. And we caught on that that's the only time we hear from y'all is when y'all need a dollar. That's the only time you hear from them. I'm going to tell y'all, and some of y'all on here that y'all y'all thinking about joining, help yourself. But the only time you're going to get a call or accolades is when they want money. That's the only time, and then you're going to get your elevation. Yeah. Oh, huh. Second minute. My mama said, what is a second administrative assistant? I never did nothing. He the only person that made the decision. All you did was come up there and sat up there and gave him the money because that's what he wanted. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, stop, please. And my mother always cried aloud and spit. That's why she was the underdog. Period. She always got up and preached holiness. Even when I didn't live it, she preached it. She told us about cussing and, and, and gambling, not even knowing it was going on and sleeping around and stuff. She told us. She always did. Like y'all, y'all, y'all don't do that. Don't do that. See, y'all don't made me. I, look, look, look. I, I'm telling you, I was shaking at work. I got off early. How about that? Got off early because I'm like, I, I can't. I, I'm not gonna sit by and let these people. Y'all in a cult, and if y'all okay with being, listen. And if you're okay with the cult, that's fine. But leave us out of it. My mother wrote her letter in April. Why is it September and y'all still on us? Y'all can't stop me from commenting on these boys' pages because I can comment. That's my business. We already knew. We didn't know what it was, but my mother has been saying this for the last five to seven years that Jeff knew. She said, it's no way somebody can get away with that much, and it's, it's something he knows. 
that he, he that's why he can do it because he can't stop them because it's something he knows so when it came out it was no shock to our church we knew we didn't know what but we was like oh my god this is it this is it this is it she had a dream earlier in the year the church gonna be turned upside down this is it I encourage you to seek God I encourage you to seek God because if you want to know the truth if you pray to God God gonna give you truth some of y'all don't want to know the truth some of y'all just want to stay in it. Stay, or you trying to hide your own, you trying to hide the stuff you've done. Look, he was about to put some of y'all out on blast anyway. Hmm. So just go ahead on and tell it. Shame now this is my first and only time addressing this. Hopefully. Because if you call Francis' nickname again, I'm going to I'm, I'm just saying. But if you seek God, seriously, if you seek God, if you seek God with your whole heart and you say, God, show me the truth, I want to know the truth. If you do that, God going to show you. How do you get up? People are victims. How do you get up and you threaten victims? How? Amen. I don't care if I loved every fiber of being in that person. If I know there's truth to it, I'm walking away. You stay, and when you stay, you're saying, I don't believe them. You can't cross both sides of the fence, people. Love one, hate the other. I love all y'all on here. All y'all. I don't even know who all on here, but I love all y'all. But if you seek God, if you seek God, you're going to know the truth. You're going to I hate it. I hated that relationships are being destroyed. I hated that friendships are being destroyed. Y'all on here going and battling with each other. For what? Please tell me for what. I, I don't even understand. I don't even understand. Y'all don't even know. Yeah, it's so many people's stories. No. You 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 can't even fathom the cries that I've heard, the cries that I've cried. I, I have cried. When all this first I cried days. I cried. <laughs> couldn't sleep. I talked to God for days. Like, God, how did you let this slip by me? How did you let this slip by us? And then my mother sitting and she's saying, I didn't see this. I didn't see this. God didn't show me this. I didn't see this. And, and there were years, like I said, the last five years, she's been trying to pull away, trying to pull away, trying to pull away. And she said, something's holding me. Something's holding me. And if if my mother wasn't who she said she was, now that she's pulled away so many people, she's trying to heal and help so many hurting people. And y'all sitting here acting like these boys lying, man. This is so sad. This is It hurts my heart for these boys. Because first of all, I have a degree. My degree is social science. So I deal with the mind. It takes victims a long time. Because number one, they think they're the only one. Number two, they think it's their fault. They don't, you know, so they feel ashamed. Especially for men. Come on, what they gaining from it? They, they don't have no money. They, you ain't got nothing to give them. That's why my mother, my mother was going to sue. We did. We, we went to seek legal counsel about getting her money back because we know she'll never get it otherwise. Mm -hmm. And the lawyer was like, all the money that you're going to put into it, count it lost. Just let it go. Just let it go. 
She got up to the church, she, and, and that's the thing. A lot of the people in our church didn't even know, but some of them did about the money you gave. I, my sister, my sister's on here. They can they can attest to it. Like he, she gave all this money, and then you go. You, I'm I'm done. I'm done. I'm I'm done. I just want y'all to really seek God. Really seek God. I can't tell your story. I can't tell your story, but I love these boys. I love them. I believe them. I'm going to be there for them. And that's why some of them right now won't even come forth because they know what y'all going to do. They're afraid to come forth because of what y'all going to say and do to them. That's sad. That's sad. Let them be free. If y'all got any God in y'all, tell y'all leader to come clean. How you stand up in a pulpit? How do you stand up in a pulpit and threaten people that you victimized and you've hurt? How do you do that, man? And then y'all get and then y'all get mad with the families because they going hard. What what else y'all expect for them to do? Like ain't nobody else, ain't nobody else lobbying for them. Ain't nobody else trying to make sure they good. Y'all left people here with no no money, no nowhere to live. No, they done gave they all. These boys want the ones that wanted educations. They couldn't get educations. Like, come on. Leave your job. Crusade. What we crusading? Find more dudes. Find more guys. Okay, I'ma stop. I'ma stop, man. I'ma stop. But y'all don't come for my mama. I promise you. Don't come for my mama. Don't don't come for my mama. Y'all done call her. A lot of y'all in that ministry called. I need this. I need that. And my mama gave it to you. Never thought twice about it. She never thought twice about it. And for y'all to put up this, y'all pushed up whoever this little Amber person is. Y'all let them push, push them up to talk to do this. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You let her push you up, and now y'all know the truth. My mama got seventy something thousand dollars out there. That's the truth. I'm just waiting on the checks. It might take a while, and that's why people don't church. They don't. They don't trust church people and see at the time when you came my grandparents had just died six weeks apart my mother was vulnerable she was weak she was going through a terrible divorce and you knew that and you played on that and you heard her say how she always took care of every leader she had you heard her say it and because you heard her say it you was like I got her because you a manipulator and you a cheater that's what you do that's what you do. Now, if you want the text message, because I'm telling y'all, if I hear anything else, then the text message is coming. Leave my mother alone. She don't deserve this. When I tell y'all that lady live everything she say. Everything she say. If she, t she took my sister, she don't play. It's no kinfolk religion. Yeah, and that's the next lie that we all on payroll. Lies. Big lies. Wow. Big lies. <laughs> wow. And even if we were, who business is it? But we're not. We're not all on payroll. That's a lie. That's a lie. So y'all go back and you tell them that's a lie. We're not all on payroll. See, when people try to just let it go and walk away, Y'all won't let them do it. Y'all won't let them do it. Y'all saying try to bully. Y'all ain't the only people. Listen, my mama grew up in a club. What y'all mean? Okay. Like y'all ain't, we gangsta good. <laughs> what? Y'all ain't even seen gangsters. Y'all don't even know what real gangsters are. Y'all don't even know what real, real gangsters are. Let me tell you, when, my, when God saved my mother, mother used to walk around half a sister. What you mean? We 
go to your house, knock on your door, and tell you to come out. Y'all with this little Facebook little thug stuff, ain't nobody got time for that. They hide it behind the camera. I want to show y'all face. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. But my mama say for real, she live a life. And I called her and I told her, I'm going live today because I will not let anybody taint your name ever again. And I told y'all when I put that letter up, you can't taint her name. Her life, her life living speaks for itself. All right. I love y'all. TDC, we got this. We got this, period. We going all the way up. Let the naysayers say what they they want to say. It's okay. We know the truth. We know the truth. We know the truth. Love y'all.